this is David and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a sermon to the website. So the first thing you'll want to do is get to the login page. Please uh, disregard this URL here as we're still in uh, testing. You will be provided with the URL and that is where you would go. You'll see the login page and you may have it already set to fill in your credentials. If not, go ahead and fill in your username and then your password and click on login. This will take you to the dashboard. What we're going to do today is add a sermon. So go over here to the menu on the left, hover over sermon and you'll see the fly out menu and we're going to go right here and select add new. That'll bring us to the add sermon page. First thing you will do is type the title of the sermon here. After that, move down here to this details pane. Now, uh, you may have been given either a summary uh, to type here or possibly even an outline that you can copy and paste into here. For right now, I'm just going to type, uh, this is a sermon summary here. So you can uh, type the information in there, format it accordingly with all your tools up here. When you're finished with that, you want to scroll down here. Now the next pane is sermon settings and you're going to disregard that altogether and go on to the next pane, which is sermon media. What we want to do here is click on this button right here and choose an audio file. So when we click this button, it brings up the media library and your files will all be listed here and they'll be titled and dated appropriately. So you're going to select the file for the sermon. I'm going to select this one. You'll see it puts a check mark by it. When you go over here, it's likely that this title will just say the, uh, the name of the file, but whatever it says, you want to make it the uh, actual title of the sermon. So we'll type that in there. And if necessary, you'll go ahead and fill in the artist or the speaker. The caption will be the same as the title. And then you will use a small description here provided by the speaker. Okay, so once you've selected the file, filled in all the information over here on the right for details, we're going to go down here and click select. And when we do that, you'll see now that the audio file has been added here. And we are almost done. So what you want to do now is move over here on the right side and here's sermon speakers. Now you can select either one of the uh, speakers that are here or if it's someone else you can go ahead and add a speaker. So I'm going to add the speaker right now. We'll just call this guy test speaker and once you've typed his name in click the add speaker button and you'll see him miraculously appear there. So again you can select anybody or everybody for that matter but we'll go ahead and make it test speaker. So what we've done is we've added the title, we've added the uh, detail or the summary, we have added the audio file, and we have added the speaker. All that being done, we're ready to go. So what you want to do is come over here and click the publish button. That will publish it to the site. Now the way you check your work, if you're so inclined, is to go over here to Sunny Slope Mennonite Church and click there. That will take you to the main page, which is here. And again, it will look different because this is still our test site. Uh, go to Media and Sermons. Click there. And there is your newly added sermon right there. If you click on the View Sermon, you'll see an individual page for the sermon with the audio already inserted. Uh, so once you're done with that, if you want to return to the dashboard to do more work, just hover over Sunny Slope Mennonite Church, click on Dashboard, and you're back here and ready to do some more things. I hope that is helpful for you. You know how to get a hold of me. Contact me if you have any questions or comments, and have a great day. Bye.